guys, welcome back to a new video, and today I will be showing you how to use units efficiently on all-star tower defense. So, let's get right into this. So, we're going into story mode, and I will be teaching you, basically, with the AOE, how, to, how you do that, and, like, uh, and, uh, placements and everything and support units. So, let's get right into the video. So guys, now we're in the game, and I will be showing you how to play units efficiently. First, we're going to be starting with units like Toga, with, with short range, single target, but fast seconds per attack. So let's place it down. So you want to place it down right at like the corners, because first you have first you have uh, one path. So basically, first you have one path, like so, uh, like this path and this path so you get more range you, you get more land to utilize to these range so with bleed units you want to set your priority the strongest so all of your bleed spreads out nicely so units like Nezuko which needs a uh, bleed like bleed on all, all targets to attack you will need to put it on strongest so Togi or any bleed unit that you are using will uh, attack all of the units so if you have AOE, however, you're gonna have to put it to last, like Tanjiro, but I'll get into that later. So, yeah. Anyways, um, we're, we're gonna do support units next. So, yeah, Meg, Eren, well, Eren is kind of a support unit, but not really. But with support units like Bulma, you wanna place Bulma or Erwin, no, not Erwin. Sides where uh, it can like where where nobody is like like not on the main path basically because if you place here then you're wasting valuable space for um, uh, your frontline people who can actually like attack um so yeah you're willing you're so you're wasting valuable space for your frontline people to attack and you could do more that space than you could if you had a bull mother. So I will just skip until I have enough cash. So let me just do that. So one quick thing guys, so with units like Eren or Kid Naruto, you're gonna place them like the same way you did Bulma, but if you want an Erwin buff then I recommend placing it where um where like your Irwin can buff it but but like places where you don't put your frontline people like your path so i would recommend putting it on like the grass over here and whatever because Irwin has a good range and it can reach it so you just place all of your errands uh, over there yeah so it'll just uh just oof some people I want to say the word because then uh, it's a kid friendly channel. But, anyways, I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna get back on Aaron later. So, I'm gonna keep upgrading my Bulma and I'll cut back until when it's max and I can have money to place more units. So, another thing I want to say is when it's wave 15 and your um, you have your Belmas, you should sell them for the cash they give you. Because in on wave 15, the last wave story mode, if you sell your uh, Belma, then that's a good option. Because, um, uh, because, like, uh, it can't give cash anymore. Because every single round, it gives you cash, and there is no, like, cash anymore. And there is like no uh, waves left, so it's the last wave. Anyways, I'm placing it on Tanjiro, and I will tell you how you can place on your your small AOE, um, uh, your small AOE uh, uh, cones or linear AOE, should I say? But anyways, uh, yeah, for Belma, sell it at the last wave for that cash, um, cause it's wave 15. Um, yeah. So, and I have enough to show you the um, AOE. 
So it's the AOD cone is super small. Like it's not really good. So um put it at last because if you don't put it at last that's only gonna hit like two units see if it's at first for example it's only gonna hit two units well well if you put it to last then it can hit like five units see look at that but if you place here then it's only gonna hit two units because like first and only place it like at the end pass where there's a straight line so then you can utilize that aoe for better so now i'm going to show you how to place all around aoe's like white beard with a little bit of range but uh aoe so don't place them where toga is placed because toga needs it more if you have another unit like that so for example so you should place it right like away from the corner like a little bit away from the corner but not too much because you can get more to the side like if you like if you place it right here then that's for toga if you place it um yeah, this is for toga and this is for white beard and if you place it right here then it goes more outward so it can reach both of the pets well if you place it here then um it's just gonna go diagonally that all of the good range you could have had go diagonally i could e i could even place it better like i could place it um more towards this, more towards like the side the side and i will get more range so, and yeah so if you have like now i'm gonna explain like big aoe cones like luffy because um luffy he he's good where i place tanjiro but luffy has a huge aoe coin so, co cone so you can place him practically right about anywhere because his aoe cone is really good like pang or whatever his a their aoe cones are really good like vegeta go vegeta um really good and mihawk has good so there's linear aoe but i call big linear aoe cone aoe so but priority aoe is the best aoe because yeah but if you have something like a mihawk which has long range but linear aoe you want to place it in a straight line from the path and put it at the back because if you put it at the back then the 120 range will make the the linear aoe slightly bigger every single range it gets um yeah you can watch uh, like a mihawk showcase and see how big the linear aoe gets so anyways uh next i'm just gonna show you how erin works so yeah so now i'm gonna talk about errands so errands are good when all eight are placed and you upgrade them one by one or you could you could do it however you would like so i like doing it one by one because it just feels like it's faster but you can also um uh, upgrade them all at the same level like all eight errands at the same uh, upgrade level so you have one all of your eight errands at level one all of your eight errands at level two level three level four until they're maxed you know so I like placing all of them down like so so I just place all eight you know um, you can do it any way you want it's just my way of doing it and then I max one by one see maxed uh, I'm gonna max any but you can also go like this way like I'm doing right now see this way this way uh, Both ways work fine. I do a mix of both sometimes So yeah Anyways, that's how errands works Um, so I hope you all will ha have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys